this video is about false spiritual teachers. How do you tell whether someone is a false spiritual teacher and is uh, there to lead people astray? The first concept to get across is that there is no easy, simple uh, answer to that. Uh, you know, five, five little uh, tips on how to tell whether someone is a false spiritual teacher. The second concept to get across is that uh, in a sense, there is no such thing as false spiritual teachers. Um, everyone has something to teach you. Anyone who you, who you get deeply involved with, there's some karmic reason for that, and they're going to teach you something. Sometimes, the people that teach us the most are the people who um, uh, abuse us, disrespect us, lead us astray, create the most challenging circumstances in our life, that uh, make us grow, make us learn very intense, powerful, oftentimes painful lessons. Um, so it isn't as if there's the false spiritual teachers and the true spiritual teachers, um, but anyone you meet in life can teach you something. All that being said, if you're actually searching for um, spiritual illumination, truth, love, wisdom, all these positive things that we want in our lives, how do you actually tell if uh, somebody's teachings are um, leading in that direction or are going to lead in these painful, difficult, unpleasant experiences and life lessons that um, perhaps will teach us important things, yet perhaps we'd, we w would rather avoid. Um, and these days, there are spiritual teachers aplenty. Anybody, including yours truly here, can uh, have a camera, create their YouTube channel, and start spouting their views and, and uh, gaining followers, um, the people who will listen to them and might make uh, important life decisions based on, um, on what other people are saying. So how do you, how do you tell whether you should you know, continue in this in this path. Pardon me, being accosted by angry and massive mosquitoes here. Um, so how do you how do you tell whether uh, somebody is someone who you should keep listening to and keep following um, their advice and their and their uh, lessons versus someone who you, know, you should you know run away from and realize that they are um, heading in the in the wrong direction and taking you there with them. Um, that's an excellent question, and uh, there's no easy answers to it, but I would say uh, one very important um, thing to keep in mind is listen with your heart. Does this person just have a lot of good ideas, or are they really um, there uh, in a, in a um, heart-centered sort of way? So listen with your heart, and also listen with your gut, and just trust your um, gut feelings about somebody, does this person um, uh, have something to say that's actually going to benefit me or not? And uh, don't just, you know, follow someone or listen to somebody's teachings because so-and-so said this person is awesome and you should do what they say. But listen to yourself, listen to your own, your own inner wisdom and allow that to guide you and uh, tell you whether or not um, what so-and-so has to say is benefiting your life or not. I mean, it's really, it's really that basic, really, is you just have to trust yourself, trust your intuition, your own uh, uh, inner, inner teacher, and, um, and follow that and go with that and see where, where it takes you. Now, there is one uh, very important quality that I would say that um, a true spiritual teacher should have is are they seeking to empower you or are they um, asking for you to bow down to them and uh, acknowledge them as the uh, authority on life's matters. I um, got a little bit tangled up with a cult once uh, in Sedona, Arizona. This was in the mid-1990s and I was uh, traveling around for the summer, hitchhiking around and I'd read about this, this place in Sedona 
and it sounded very interesting and intriguing. I went there to check it out, and uh, right away I just had this you know gut reaction of this just this just feels wrong. This just feels weird. I you know I like some of their spiritual concepts, but something something's out of place. Something's wacky here, and so I um, just kind of put it out to the universe of you know give me a sign. Tell me. Uh, in some sort of clear, clear term, what this place is really about, and I was uh, with some some friends who uh, I'd gotten a ride with in a van. They had they, they were driving this van around, and we were camping outside of um, just outside of town. So the next morning, after having met with this with this uh, group a couple of times, then uh, we were driving into town, and we stopped to pick up a hitchhiker. And uh, my name is Gabriel. It turned out that this hitchhiker's name was Gabriel, and the leader of this of uh, the cult name is Gabriel. Gabriel of Sedona. Um, Aquarian Concepts is the community. You can uh, find out about them online. And uh, so, just on a hunch, since I was sitting here with the third Gabriel in in uh, the course of a few days, then I asked him, "Hey, have you ever heard of this this place, Aquarian Concepts?" And he says, yes, my mother was involved with them, and uh, she had a boyfriend, and, and uh, she got pregnant. And this uh, community decided, for whatever reasons, to kick my mom out of the um, cult while she was pregnant. And uh, her boyfriend was encouraged, encouraged to stay and to break up with her and to, and to leave her alone with a child. That is, that is some pretty twisted shit there. And uh, he told me, you know, a few other things. It just made it clear that these guys were, were definitely out there and not, uh, not having people's best interests at heart. Um, and so I, you know, quickly dropped that one and got out of there. So, um, just to keep in mind, is is this person? Is this teacher actually? Um, giving me tools to empower myself, or are they on some sort of an ego trip of um, trying to amass, um, you know, followers or just adulation, um, trying to get someone to, uh, you know, capitulate to them? Are they honoring your free will and your personal will, or are they saying, "I'm the guy with the answers. Um, listen to me." forsake your your personal will and your gut instincts and your um, perspective, your intuition um, in, in uh, acquiescence to my you know greater knowledge. So that's just a good one to keep in mind is um, are they saying that they have all the answers or are they saying here are some things that I've learned in my life that have benefited me, Take them, go with them. May they be useful to you in you finding your own uh, your own truth within. Um, because the truth is within all of us. It shouldn't be up to authority figures to tell us, uh, you know, how to live our lives. Uh, we should be in charge of our own lives. So that's my take on the subject. Take care. Have a good day.